Hello, sorry it's been a long time since we've done a video, but it's, um, it's a busy time at the moment. Very busy, but I have taken a couple of days off this week. And I'm just getting a few things done here. Um, let's have a look. just trying to repair a power board for um well i've got a funny feeling this power board is mine now it's a vestel power board and it is um is it really yes it's an ips i don't know 17 72 i don't know take the sticker off 17 ips 12 and this is from a 48 inch Vestel um, and basically it it wasn't working and I tried to help somebody online fix it by asking them to check the diodes first and the diodes were reading short so I asked him to take the diodes out and find out which one is the culprit and he did but when he took them out None of them were reading short. Now there's a reason for that. I'm just going to test if the diodes I've put back in, so bear with me, if they're making contact because... No. That one... They are, but that one isn't, and that's the one... I'm surprised that's not making contact. There's um, a bit of trace has disappeared from this, as you may be able to see if I... Um, that one there. Oh, it is working fine now. Let me just see if it's loose. No. Oh, it's that one that's not connected. Yes, well, I haven't soldered that one yet, that's why. So let me just solder this. So anyway, he took the diodes out and tested them, and then he realised, oh, I think the trace is missing from this as well. You have to be very careful when you take these out, but I might have to bridge that up to that with a lump of solder. Let me just see if I can bridge it across. Almost. Yes. So all these, yeah. So these are now probably reading short, and they are. Um, now, before I asked him to do that, test these diodes, I did say the biggest culprit on these boards is the IC, which is this one here. Hopefully you can see it. But as you can tell, that IC has gone. Um, so he tested it with his, his multimeter, but couldn't find the short. But the short is there. So if I just get a bit of solder on these take this out hopefully the short will just disappear So now I reckon these diodes will read as diodes, and they do.
yes they're fine so if you get one of these boards that's dead and the diodes especially here on the left hand side if they read short it could be just one that's gone short so you have to prise them apart find the dead one and replace it best to replace all three but before you even get that far check on the ic there which is q103 and i'm going to have to replace that now but i haven't got i haven't got a q103 here and the truth is these boards are i don't know pretty cheap on ebay pretty cheap so you can go to the expense of buying a chip for two or three pounds you may the problem for us i think we buy them in at 10 at a time for the ic um and I haven't got any here, but that is the usual suspect on this board, which is a 17 IPS 12, remember, for a Vestel 48 inch. Um, I can't remember if his ball, I think his was a Bush 48, or it could have been a Digi Home 48, um, something like that. But if I put another chip in that board now, which I can't do because I haven't got the chips here, that board will work. So uh, even though the diodes read short, not necessarily the diodes, usually it's the IC that's um, the driver that's feeding it. So do bear that in mind just in case. Anyway, just a quick video just to help somebody out if um, you've got one of these boards which is going short. And if most of the, the, the driver is used on so many Vestel boards, you, you, if you've got a broken Vestel board somewhere, yeah, somewhere around you know we all have a Vestel broken board around don't we then you could use it that way anyway just thought I'd do that thanks for watching I'll do some more later it's just busy time at the moment in the summer um, busier than ever before and I'm only trying to make a video if it's something a bit different and something I haven't covered before just doing backlight after backlight is a bit yes precisely but uh, thanks for watching see you soon